review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we're gonna party all night. All right, what's going on, guys and gals? And we are back for another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is Evil Genius making a return. And you can see there's no crying mango. Or, there's no crying in there's baseball. No crying in baseball. <laughs> I was reading across. There's no crying in baseball. Mango IPA. Ale with natural flavor added. And you can pause for the government warning, but fuck the government. You can pause for that. And there's your neck and your... Typical evil, evil genius cap. They also did a pur purple monkey dishwasher. And Santa, I know him. Completely off the topic here. Did you know that people are pissed off that raising against the machine is against the government? Really? When they had, when haven't they been? <laughs> Since 1992? Like, we used to be fans of your music, but then we found out that you're against the government, and we don't like you now. When the fuck were they weren't against the government? Stop me from listening to them. Were they against the ice cream machines? Are are the refrigerators revolting? We don't know. Dog, what line or what movie is this line from? There's no crying in baseball. I have no fucking clue. Kenny, League of Arrow. There you go. That's why I'm disappointed. It's not. I, that's what I was thinking. It's a mango. Were there any mangoes in the the movie? Uh, at least not that we that, that they showed. Rockville, but the Racine. Rockford peaches. Racine. The other two may have been mangoes. No, I appreciate Yeah, they should have been. A mango IPA. I've never had a mango IPA before. Uh, EvilGeniusBeer.com. These guys have all the crazy names on there. They even have like a Stacey. shut up Meg. Yeah, they have shut up <laughs> Meg. They have Stacy's mom. Santa, I know him. Yeah, as you I said. saw Stacy's mom, but you had to get her by the six pack where I saw her. Evil Genius Brewer Co. I like these guys because, like I said, they have all these crazy names on them. So! So you're saying there's a chance. That might be next time. Or anyway, as tradition, as usual, we're going to do the cap test, the body head test, the drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. So, I'm pretty damn sure that this is not going to be a twist. Up to the rescue! We're, we're actually to the point where we can predict Back whether or not it's a Monday. twist. Da -da 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 -da. Yards! Our grandfather is always there to watch our back as we drink beer. I think honest. he likes what we do, but our grandmother doesn't. I hear Graham right now in heaven. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Heaven's to Pete. Honest to Pete. Honest to Pete. That's it. Here's a true story. One time right after I moved in the house that I live in now, me and GMC were sitting there drinking beers, and my grandpa kind of snuck in as we were drinking. My grandfather grabbed the swig of the yingling, <laughs> and and she's like, "Pa!" That smells good. She was like yelling at him for swigging. She was like yelling at him for swigging the beer. Surprisingly, I have grown a taste for IPAs. I will. Admit. It actually, uh, it, it smells actually pretty good. It has like a citrusy smell to it. So, dog, if you will, please and make sure you save enough for the rest of us. Yeah. Evil Genius Beer Company. There's no crying in baseball. Mango IPA, ale with natural flavor. Let's try it. Clear burst. Are you crying? I can stone face it. There's no crying in baseball! There's no crying in brewer views. There's no crying in brewer views either. That was one of my favorite scenes, especially when Tom Hanks, like when he goes through his whole spiel, he goes, and again, did I cry? She's like, no! He's like, no! No! You know why? Because there's no crying in baseball. Tom Hanks is a <laughs> fucking amazing actor. If I miss it. Not your typical IPA. You taste the hops. 
Maybe the mango kind of levels it out. But I don't taste All right, mango. so after a couple minutes ago of trying this, I mean, normally IPA sticks around like a bad fart. Yeah. This isn't. It's it's not a bad aftertaste. I, it, go, it goes down smooth for an IPA. I don't taste any mango, though, but maybe that's just canceling out the hops. Probably. Normal IPAs, man, they just Better fucking stick taste. around. Get used to that, Kenny, because... Kenny. IPAs are hot. We used to call them grassy. You taste the grass. Hellraiser, I think, was our very first one in the whole series. But yeah, we've tried a lot of IPAs, and I've All developed right. quite the taste for them. Oh, well, I will yeah. say, your opinions? The aftertaste is rather nice. The, the, the initial flavor burst that you get is not right. as fruity, but the aftertaste. Come on, sediment. Come on, sediment. Oh, wow. I was not expecting it to be that light. Light AF. Hold on. Oh, oh, it got excited there. Oh, oh, Lord. Can I leave you feel <laughs> No, I want you to watch. Come on. I want to know what the hell you did in the bottle. Bit more! Oh, that was a good phone shot. You stuck it in the hole. That is what you call a money shot. That looked like five gallon bucket of I, water. I see sediment. I see sediment. 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 Nice color. Not on cinnamon. That. Sediment. Beautiful color. So me. not much carbonation. The head's just kind of sitting there. Doing nothing. Oh, let's. Jerking on. Oh yeah, I do. I do kind of see a little sediment in there. There's sediment in there. Not cinnamon. Not cinnamon. Not cinnamon. You like to do the glassing honors? Oh, I'll yeah. pass it off to them. Let them try the glass. Because IPAs traditionally taste better in glass. A lot more better as your brother would A lot said. more better in the glass. Yeah. It smells better in the can. Usually they smell better in the bottle because it traps it in. That's kind of my theory. You stop drinking beers in the can. You need to have beer. It tastes a hell of a lot better in the glass. Because it mixes. Wasn't there one episode when you actually went to the toilet and said, I'm having it in the can? That was Yingling yes. Premium. Yes, definitely. It tastes like a fruity fart in the bottle, but in the glass, yeah, I can drink that. A fruity fart. A fruity <laughs> fart. A mango fart. Better in the glass. So, so, yeah. so that's there what, you if, if you eat nothing but mangoes, and then you have to... <laughs> that's what a fruity fart smells like. Probably. I'm, I'm hypothesizing. Mine aren't known to smell fruity, I'll tell you that. <laughs> she can tell you too. That load came Hello a little too that. fast, I almost choked on it. Hello That's what she that. said! Is that what you said? Okay. See, we have a female here now. So I actually like this. We can kind of salt. Yeah. <laughs> when you say that's what she said, I'm going to look right to her and be like... Oh, well, hell, I didn't think about that. <laughs> it's not funny. I, I like this, to be honest. <laughs> I liked it. Excuse me. For an IPA, it goes down smooth. Like not a not a bad aftertaste. Yes. <laughs> I'm very picky about IPAs, but this one surprises me. I I'm gonna give a, I'll give it a four. I liked it. I'd get it again. It's not like my go-to beer, but I'm gonna say four and a half. Oh, four and a half. Yeah, because the aftertaste is not strong. I mean, it it lets you know it's there, but then it just goes away like real quick. Yeah. Probably around five, I would guess. Kimi, what'd you get? In the bottle? Yeah. Or in the cup? A Good. one in the bottle. Ooh. Wow. In the glass, however, I'd give it a four. Because that so, is something that I can kick back and drink out of the glass, but out of the bottle, it just tastes like that. So well, see, this is made to be in the glass, so I would go with that rating. So, so you're averaging about 3.5. About a 3.5 altogether, yes. Volume, or uh, alcohol is 6%. So it's it's no, modest. Yeah. Fair, fairly weak for an IPA. Yeah, it's a modest IPA. That is one IPA I think. This is one of those you might drink a couple and then you switch back to your normal big box. You don't you don't sit there and drink a case. No. Ma'am. So what? You said four point five. I said four point five. What'd you say? Four. I said a four. And you said three point five. Yeah, so we kind of agree on average it's a four. Evil genius does it again. Not to mention, let's just throw an extra half point in because of the awesome title of the beer. There's no crying in baseball. 
It should have been made. Patreon oh, guys. yeah, but and before we leave the episode, there will be links down below to our previous Evil Genius episodes, including Purple Monkey Dishwasher. Purple Monkey Dishwasher. And Santa, I know him. That's a uh, peanut butter porter. Yeah, and don't forget to tune in to the uh, next baseball game between the Rockville Peaches and the um, Milwaukee Beers. The Mango, <laughs> the St. Bell Beers, Bell Mangoes, something. He's drunk. No, I'm not drunk. I can walk in a straight line. Remember you? on Beer Fest? We're not that drunk. We're not that drunk. I can totally do this right now. See that? I'm perfect. Oh, yeah. Can you, do that? Can you say the that? alphabet backwards? Z Y. Z-Y. Can anyone say the alphabet backwards? Fuck no. Z Y X B U W. Cut!